Hello, my name is Tom Repass, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate to you how to fumigate your brood comb and other beehive equipment using concentrated acetic acid. This is a method that's used commonly in Europe and also in Canada to prevent the spread of infection when you're moving comb from one colony to another. We all lose beehives every now and then, and if the comb or other equipment is in reasonably good shape, we will reuse it on another hive. One concern is if the original hive was infected with disease, you might be spreading disease to your other colonies. The benefits of concentrated or glacial acetic acid fumigation is that it does not leave, leave a residue in your brood comb or wax as long as it is ventilated properly before it is put on the new hive. It can kill the spores of nosema as well as honeybee amoebic dysentery. And it can also kill off the eggs and larvae of the wax moth as well as a small hive beetle. Thank you for watching. One thing that is very important to understand before we get started is how potentially dangerous concentrated acetic acid could be. Although it does not leave any residue within the wax or the hive body itself once it's ventilated, it is a corrosive acid and needs to be treated with respect, just like any other concentrated acid. Although acetic acid is the same acid in common household vinegar, vinegar is very dilute. We will be using acetic acid that's 80% concentrated or more. You cannot get it in your eyes, and you cannot get it on your skin. I like to use nitrile gloves for protecting my hands when handling the acetic acid. These are very useful to, for beekeepers to have on hand for uh, when you're using formic acid or oxalic acid for killing varroa mites as well. Another essential piece of equipment is a face mask and respirator to prevent you from breathing the fumes or getting the acid in your eyes. Finally, you should wear long sleeve clothing and have the ability to wash any acid from your eyes or skin immediately if you have any accidental exposure. I only fumigate brood comb that is going to be reused on another hive, ideally brood comb with minimal to no honey or pollen present. You can stack them as much as four or five high and then put an empty hive body on top where you can place your containers which will hold the acetic acid. Acetic acid is corrosive to metal, therefore you must use either a plastic or glass dish. The treatment is about 120 milliliters per deep box, which is about a half cup per box. After you're done pouring the acetic acid, you can put the top back on. The treatment should be done in warm weather, at least 70 degree days or warmer. Because acetic acid is heavier than air, it will slowly evaporate and flow down through the frames into each of the boxes. It's important to seal all of the gaps between each box to prevent the acetic acid from leaking out. I allow the boxes to be fumigated for about a week in warm weather. And then, at the end of that time, I open them up carefully in a well-ventilated area and allow the fumes to evaporate for at least another week or two before the comb is ready to be reused and put on your other beehives. I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like to learn more, please check out my website, canyonrimhoneybees.com. Thank you again.